Hi. Welcome back to the channel. Guess what we're doing today? We are starting a new game. I don't even know. <laughs> Why did I say guess? Because the, the, the title just tells you everything. <laughs> Why do I even make introductions to videos? All I say is the same thing over and over. Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're playing so and so. Okay, let's begin. <laughs> let's just play. Well, <laughs> we're actually starting a new game, so I guess that's kind of kind of a bit more exciting. Get some more exciting intro. We're going to be playing Outer Wilds. I've had quite a few comments asking for this. Um I have never played it. I don't know a thing about it at all. I don't even know if I've ever seen a screenshot of the game. <laughs> Um, I was just gonna play it and try it out and if it's horrendous if I hate it I guess you'll never see this video and I'm just talking into the void for nothing I've filmed so many things today you'll probably see me in this outfit <laughs> across several videos so enjoy that uh, yeah, I don't even know what to say about Outer Wilds because I don't I don't I don't I don't know anything not not a thing <laughs> I'm hoping my computer is gonna be able to handle it because it's been a little bit cheeky and it's it keeps freezing, dropping frames. Like, I mean, the game freezes while I record. It's all just been a bit of a mess. So fingers crossed this this will go well. And yeah, thank you so much for the suggestion. Thank you for watching and uh, for the support endlessly on the channel. It's very, very lovely. So yeah, let's get going. Brand new game. Let's try it. Try it out. I am ready. Don't worry that the other games on the channel will will continue. <laughs> like I said, I've been doing a lot of recording, so things things are on the way. Don't worry. <laughs> they're they're on the way. But yeah, if you're new to the channel and you've sat through this strange rambly introduction, thank you. Welcome. I hope you enjoy it here. And uh, uh yeah, let's just play. Stopped. Fuck's sake, Xbox, go away. You ruined the nice introduction. Xbox, I swear to God. I don't work for an Xbox game studio anymore, so I can. Are you kidding me? It closed the game. What is the point of that? Do you know what? Not having that. Not having it. We're quitting and we're going back in. I was enjoying myself. Space is scary. Well, this sounds very wholesome with the music. Quite nice. We've got a space looking outer and a very wild looking wild nature. Alright, let's do it. Wake up. Ooh. Hey, what was that? Something just broke off of that. Oh, and fell down. Um, is that a ship that's just broken apart? It's like the Eiffel Tower was falling to pieces. A little bit. Oh no, and it's going. I just it's woken up. Oh, let's check out my my shadow. What do I look like? What is my form? I don't have a booty. I'm just kind of sad. Oh gosh. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's weird. Whoa! How long have you been there? I'm sorry. Were you watching me sleep? Roast marshmallow. Oh, a breakfast. Oh, this is very smooth. This is very nice. I'm going to have to keep looking over here just for initially, just to see that my computer is actually recording. Okay. And we're running. Okay. I feel like I'm sliding around. I feel very quick. Quick footed. Shall I eat a marshmallow or talk to you? Slate. Let me talk to you. Whoa. <laughs> I wasn't expecting so many eyeballs. <laughs> his I can't work out the expression on his face. 
There's our pilot. Back from your pre-launch campout under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program. And suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to give this beauty? Get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Whoa, 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 whoa! I want a marshmallow, hold on! Can, can I be hesitant? Because I'm hungry. There was only a problem one time. And then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch code codes from the Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. I don't know why I'm having such a difficult time reading. Well, thank god I can do a marshmallow. This is nice. Wait. <laughs> can I burn it? I need to extend the stick. Oh, whoa! That's too much. Okay. Let's just... No, don't want really to it on fire. Gently roast. Just right above the hot bit. Like, okay, let's let it caramelise a little bit. Okay, apparently now it's edible, but I can't, I can't really tell. It's too shadowy <laughs> to tell how cooked it is. Let me... One more time for good luck. I actually kind of like it, Chard. Oh, what happened to the lighting? Whoa. Oh. Whoa! Oh! Ah! No! Oh! Okay, I cooked it too much. Did it just go daytime? Okay, let's let's just eat it. I think that was too much. Oh, that was tasty. I've missed an entire night. Oh shit! Oh, shit! Okay, which way did the thing fall? What was the? F Wait, what is that? Is that smoking? Are things running in real time? Am I on a timer or something? Can I take this? Oh my god, I'm going too fast. Why am I moving around so fast? Okay, I need to go get the launch codes. Uh, bye! Wait, can I pick anything else up? What does that say? Outer Worlds... Something. I can't read. Right, I might, I might need to turn down the sensitivity because... Autumn release. Woo! <laughs> I do a little crouch before jumping. Do I look like the person with the multiple eyeballs? Whoa, I... Am I tall or are you tiny? Hey, it's you! Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. I think I went to practice. I'm gonna be very cautious. I think. Aw, oh, you're just saying that. But if you really want to practice with me, I guess I could help you out a little. Try to land on one of the... Oh no, gazer pools. Show me what you've got. I'm bad at flying. Oh boy. Fly model ship. Okay, right, well. Horizontal thrust. Okay, let's just get out. Where's the... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what? Ah! <laughs> Where is the pole? Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Oh, there's a pole. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I crashed. Up, please. Is it? I don't understand why it's... Why did it go over there? What? Oh. Okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it. This way, please. I did it. I did it. I got it. I got it! Oh, oh my god, it's night time. Bloody hell. No, leaving. Okay, that's enough for me. It doesn't bode well for the future. That was quite confusing, but I think I get it now. Oh, I'm blue. I am. I do have multiple eyes. Is that why I move around so fast? Hello! Oh, coffee. Hey ho, hatchling! I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, 
Let's you, me, and ghosts and open up a bottle of the good stuff. Uh, I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. <laughs> um, let's just do this one. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. I don't actually know why I was so rude to you. Thank you for the good luck. Oh. Bounce. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Ooh. Ho, ho. Ooh. Ooh. Can I go on this thing? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bounce. Yes. Bounce. Yes. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, am I going to break that? Oh, I just broke my legs. Okay, I'm sorry. I just wanted to know. You're dead. You are dead. Um. Fuck. <laughs> God dang it. Oh dear. Oh no, do I have to do that all again? There's something crashing over there. And it's falling. Is that something else for me? How interesting. Hello! <laughs> Lovely music. Okay, I'm gonna guess that's observatory. Alright, let's not touch the gazer. I'm not gonna talk to you this time. Can't go in your house. <laughs> Probably because I'm not very nice to you. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Ottawa Adventures presents postcards from orbit. You sound like camera. This projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting between the half. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Traveling through a camera. Is that the village? I think it is. Should I take a rear view shot? Bye, village. Could I see where that thing fell? I see. Ooh. Is that smoke? something falling I saw it this is so interesting sorry I can't see anything else right, honestly taking so many pictures and draw all those lots of stuff <laughs> what is this this pilot seat, used by pioneer and astronaut Field Spa, is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Harthian history. It's funny. Oh, what was that? What was that? Oh, it's, it's the camera. It's the camera! Hello? Are you new? What you got an axe, Mal. So it's launch day, huh? Hal's gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Is it about time you built a new one, less flammable? <laughs> a new, less flammable one. That big tree in the village would be a perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out in the space program. Just say the word. Uh, we all know you have it out for that tree. The launch pad is flammable. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. But I'm more interested to hear the tree. <laughs> the tree response. What? No, I just think it's the way. In the way and someone ought to chop it down, you know? Specifically, me. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you think this has to do with the time I fell off of it and broke my arm? That was 
when we were hatchlings. Who would have held a grudge for that long? That tree is guy coming. If you swing by the moon, say hi to Eska for me. Oh, I don't think it sounds very good that that launch pad is flammable. I'm gonna set the village alight. Yes. Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travellers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Tell me about the travellers' instruments. Hmm. Same hard before I leave. I guess I could maybe find the observatory by myself. Let's find out about the instruments. Oh, sure, I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see. Oh, actual musical instruments, I thought. Space instruments. Well, we've got church drums, Rybex, banjo, Gabro's flute, and field spars harmonica. <gasps> oh, I want the harmonica! Of course, their field spars been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday when they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, if you hear music in space, that'll be one of the space programs other travellers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Trouble is, every time a Harthian leaves for outer space, there's one less musician in our orchestra. So, did you need something? Hmm, I guess I could still ask her. It's questions like that, though, make us worried about you going up into space on your own, you know. The observatory is right up the path behind the waterfall. There are a couple of signs marking the way, but really, you just keep going up and then hook a right when you get to the zero-g cave. Zero-g cave! Sorry, this texture caught my eye. It's very... Okay, behind the waterfall. There's lots of signs. I really didn't need to ask, did I? Hello. Tefra. Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favourite troublemaker. Eh, it must be nice. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Uh, okay. Ooh, okay, here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. <gasps> oh, all four of my eyes are shut. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> oh, this is fun. Oh, I'm hearing music, maybe? There. Maybe I need to go around. Get yeah, that one. This is so cool. <laughs> Reminds me of Alien Isolation a little bit. Just with the motion tracker aspect, I guess. I say yo. I say yo. How do I get to you? Oh, jump down here. Hello! Oh god, no! No, 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 no. Oh, don't die again. At least I can swim. Why am I in the dark? I was so scared I was gonna die again. <laughs> I need to be careful, I think. Thanks, please. Okay, 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 okay. Let me actually find the right way over there, shall we? I don't know the right way over there. This way? Is this a car? Oh, I can't see anything. It's so bloody dark. Oh my god, Val. Oh, that, that is it though. Am I hurting myself every time I fall? Oh, it's daytime. <laughs> Might need to up the brightness. Hold on. Is that better? Or is that now like too. No, I don't know. Oh gosh. Oh, Let's just. Turn it down a smidge. What's that? Maybe that's better. It was so dark before! Oh dear! Okay, no, it's still pretty dark. Bad. But now I can actually see. Oh, you bastard! Ah, ah. Got you. Ah, you found me. My hiding spot was super good. Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? <laughs> I like how I can bounce myself. Okay. 
Where is the next one? Oh. And here, hey. Are you hiding behind this? Oh, I see ya! Surprise! <gasps> I won! I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Oh, you don't seem that happy about it. Actually. Oh, nope. 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 Chill out. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting good at the bouncing. Wish I could say the same thing about the... Is that a squirrel? It's final. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Fishing, rowing, fishing, rowing, singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater? Guess we'll all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water planet, Giant's Deep, that's where I'd go. Why is that? One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, the bro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down, on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. The bro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They travelled down and down. Suddenly, Gabro won't go any further. Oh, yeah, Giant Steep has a current you can't pass through. I underestimated how boring this would be. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's just be nice. I will, and I was just pausing dramatically. Although exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabro go any deeper. It held Gabro back, almost as if it was trying to protect them from something. <laughs> okay. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Was there sapphire involved with <laughs> during Gabro's campfire story? Let's just say, is it all true? Heard it from Gabro themselves. Gabro can be a little sensible, sure, but they aren't a liar. I mean, probably anyway. I guess if you want to know if the story's entirely true, you can go see Giant's Deep for yourself. That would be cool. So I can go find it and report back. If it was true or not myself. Bouncy please. Bouncy, 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 Is that gonna hit? Okay. I can't see. That looked mad. Hey, look, it's that broken thing from earlier. It's just loads of shit flying in this space around us. Okay, am I going straight through? Or past it? I wonder if I can go land on that. Whoa, look how fast that moon's going. It's like the Majora's Mask moon. Hopefully, it doesn't fall on us. In Majora's Mask. Spo sorry, spoilers. I will play that on the channel one day. I will, I will. Ooh, a note. Gimme, gimme. Saw smoke coming from Young Bark Crater up north and figured I'd go check it out. We can use the scout launcher. Just please don't break it while I'm gone. Kites. So we did see something drop. Maybe that's what this is. Okay. Hopefully I don't actually break this. How do you use it? Aim launcher. Ooh, wait. Can I read these? Geyser Mountains. Young Bark Crater. That's where he said he saw the smoke. Nimai Ruins. Mountain Grove Crater. Okay, let's point it. Young Bark. Um, aim launcher, launch scout. Whoa! Oh, this is so cool! Something did drop in there. That's so cool! What else can I see? Is it just gonna crash? 
anyway, hopefully I didn't break it. <laughs> but it crashes. I want to go look on every direction. Ooh, that looks interesting. Grab that back before I crash it again. Whoa! I almost missed the tree. I mean, I almost hit the tree. I'm just gonna fall in there, aren't I? <laughs> I wonder what would happen if I aimed it into there. It would if it would go higher. Ooh. This is so cool. I want to try and aim it into the water. I'm gonna do it. It's also daytime. I'm wasting so much time. Oopsies. Oh, night and day. It doesn't last very long, does it? Oh, is that thing fine? Oh, now. I think it just went straight through. Well, that wasn't worth it. That was fun. Oops. <gasps> what are you doing? Show me again. Ooh, there's like a barrier there. Arcos. Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gossan said it used to be bigger when we were a hatchling because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown up. Ghost matter is awesome. Ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. You shouldn't be throwing rocks in there. Ghost matter is dangerous. You know ghost matter is how Takayat lost their foot, right? <laughs> that sounds interesting. Whoa, really? That is so cool. So, I'm guessing if I jump in there, I will die. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Danger inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. A strange, dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eyes. Good news is that you can tech detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. I really want to try it. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna. Let's see how they'll look with the camera showing. Oh, you look at that! The Aurora Borealis! Looks so cute! So cool, I mean. Oh, so cute. They've even put this here for me to really bounce in there. Testing me. What's with all the crystals, though? Okay. Um. What's this way? Zero G cave. Yes. What's this? Hey. Come say hi to your old flight coach before your launch. <gasps> Where was that over there? Well, things move so fast in space. I've got zero G training set up if you want to refresh her. Yeah, I probably do want a refresher because right now I've never done that before. Hello. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you. Right, like you weren't nervous for your first flight. Let's tease. Hey, don't worry about it. Your nerves are between you, me, and the vast endlessness of space. But really, you'll do fine out there. I'd worry more about that ship if I were you. Hopefully that lunatic slate at least fixed their retro rockets. <gasps> they did. They said there were a lot of problems earlier, which has worried me. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment. Set up down in the zero-g cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Uh, yeah, let me try. <laughs> try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Oh, can I? Oh. Oh, boy. Whoa. Get it out of cave crystals. Really immerse myself in here. Oh, sorry. My eyes were balls. Okay. 
This the origin? Yes. This is scary. Where's the slot mark? Oh. Isn't zero G? Wait, have I always been able to jump that high? Oh god. Ooh. Oh gosh. Oh, this is so interesting. This is really interesting. God, this is terrifying. <gasps> I don't think I want to go to space. Okay, gravity is totally gone. Um, whoa, this is weird. Okay, which way do I point to? This is a bit confusing. Oh, L to lock on. Okay, match velocity. Okay. Huh. Oh, this is interesting. Sorry, I'm getting used to everything. This is weird. Ooh. Uh, oh, right. Oh. Okay, okay. Closer, 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 closer. Closer! There we go. <laughs> I'm being really extra careful. There's the next one. I hear it. Oh god, I'm gonna hit the wall. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm terrified that I'm not gonna be able to control myself in space and I'm just gonna accidentally fly away. Ouch. I didn't realize. Uh -huh. A bit closer, please. I still can't repair it. How, how bloody close do I need to be? There we go. <laughs> Hit it. Oh, that wasn't so bad. I would like to get out of here, please. I'm scared. Oh, over there. No. 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 <laughs> I kind of don't get it, but okay. Here we go. 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 Right. Roll. Whoa. Oh, that was fun. Oh, please. Oh gosh. Me out of the zero G cave. Me out of here. Oh god. There you go. Oh, that was fun, but um, oh, stressful. One out. <laughs> One out of the cave. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know how good I'm gonna be at doing that. Maybe long term. I'll learn. Everyone starts at zero knowledge. It's okay if you're not good at something straight away. Oh, turn that off. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful for sake. when you're hurtling through space. But just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training you. Got it? 
Hi, I like you. You've lost an eye. Bye bye. <laughs> I'll come visit. That's my favorite person so far. Observatory. This way. Ba -doo. Ba -doo. Ba -doo. Ba -doo. Can I go in here? No. I'll go inside. And go. I'm on a little ramp up, though. What's up here? <gasps> Ooh, a crank. I'm not allowed to use. For someone else. Okay. I kind of want to go explore where that thing crashed. Am I allowed to do that? How would I get there? Launch tower. Whoa, what is that? What the? Hello. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch to it last, ha, huh, buddy. It's the translator tools inaugural flight too. I'm so excited. It's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Oh, jeez. Do not break it. <laughs> uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? Huh? Excited? Good. You've only been waiting for this day since you were hatchling. Since we were hatchlings. Oh, God, I keep... I'm thinking they're talking to me, singular hatchling, but apparently we're all hatchlings together. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Nomai statue? Uh, what's that? You haven't heard? I probably brought it back with them from Giant's Deep, and Fawnfell's just finished prepping it for display. This is it right here. Neat, huh? Makes me wish I could see what a real live Nomai looks like. I guess this is as close as we'll go ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Oh, it's interesting to hear you talk about the things you like. Is that a sheep? Wow, interesting. Let me get a closer look. Oh, I like your horns. How cool. Mwah! <laughs> it looks like it's leaning out for a kiss. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with the most detailed look at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewellery that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. That's so interesting. And they have three eyes instead of four. Craziness. Coming soon. Future site of our next exhibit. If you enjoyed your time with Outer Wilds, please consider supporting our planned museum expansion. Our quest to further our quest to explore the furthest reaches of our solar system wouldn't be possible without generous visitors like you. We thank you profusely for your support and we hope to see you again soon. So is Outer Wilds a company? Is this like a museum? Have they, have they trained me since I was a hatchling to go get stuff for their exhibit or something? Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Atoll Rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. So cool. Hello, balls. What's this? Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusion hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. As the star core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. If the star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chad's observations, this is this will one day be the fate of our own sun. <gasps> Scary. What is this strange shape? I noticed that. I don't, can't remember if I said it out loud. Sometimes I think things in my head and I'm like, I didn't explain that, did I? What is with... It looks like a maze or something. 
What's that? You mean explain? This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. That's so cool. Whoa! Oh my god, that's so cool. Wow, we should find more of these. Thanks for traversing fun. I don't know what this is. It's a weird puzzle for me. Ooh, hello. This angora fish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Well, you put it in quite a light area. Is it okay here? What's this? What's this then? The Nomai technology brought back from our... From space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Worlds Ventures, allowing us to modify our expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. That is cool. Ooh, these their skulls. <laughs> What you see here are parts of the Nimai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. The Nimai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nimai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, shows us that Harthians couldn't have descended from Nimaian ancestors. Oh, really? It's not clear where the Nimai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. This is so interesting. What's this one? Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Namai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Namai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the, the Namai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Namai born in our solar system? Or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? Oopsies, did I miss a bit? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer in further Xeno archaeological expeditions. Whoa, what is this? Whoa. And the heavens translate. Cassava, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction. And she says calibrating the device won't take long. Felix. Fortunately, the Atoll Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. That's so interesting. This one. Is this not simple? This piece of Namai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although the text it's linear. Namai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. That's fun. What is this bit then? Hmm. Oh, that's where I came in. Bouncy bouncy. It's an upstairs. Oh, we're in the observatory. My bad. This is just amusing. Whoa! I'm having an out of body experience. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. Well, hopefully, our sun doesn't turn into a um, supernova. We're way we're so close to it. Dark Bramble. Oh, I can zoom right in. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's like breaking apart. Oh, where's next? On the on the spiral. Ah, <gasps> giant's deep. I see there's a tentacle monster. Hey, is that broken thing? Wonder what that's about. It's quite far away then. It looked pretty close. What was this? Oh, I've seen this fly around. Follows lantern. On this brittle hollow. How oh, interesting. Everything looks like it's breaking apart. In the half. That one looks pretty, um. 
Actually, it's pretty healthy down there. She's got loads of bases. Atoll Rock. Is that our moon? The Hourglass Twins. Ember Twin. Ash Twin. Whoa, what is this? What the? What the heck's going on there? This is so interesting. Oh, where am I supposed to be going again? Do I have... Oh, no, wait. We haven't got the coordinates yet, have we? No, wait. It's just the launch codes we need. Hello? Onfell's observations. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in this image were stars. But they're not. They're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky. Which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I... I think I need to sit down. <laughs> oh, it's weird. Hmm, this is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving further away from us. In fact, the further away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. But if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we ex extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? This is so interesting. Hello! Ooh! Hi! There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. That'll be me! And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Namai translator too. Tool. I confess I'd be giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Namai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan when you're in space? Oh gosh, I get to pick. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna wing it. This is the honest answer. Planning to follow in the footsteps of Feldspar and the great Outer Wild Ventures tradition, are you? I might have guessed. Well, see if you can put that translated tool of yours to good while you're out there. Well then, looks like all that's left is send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for launch. I'm ready to die in space! <laughs> I am. I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlucky to say before a launch? Oh god. At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are every bit as safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Okay. Can I look through here? No. Before I'd go, I'd really like to find out what that smoky thing is. Where the scout went. Wait, did you give me the launch codes? Got a little thing in the bottom left. Oh, there's more out here. I only missed this. This strange moving rock around this grotto appears to react to conscious, conscious observation. The level headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play. But, but, but Grabro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Every time I look at it, what? It disappears or something? Oh, oh. Wait. Oh, I look at it and then I go back and it's gone. I see. <laughs> That's so cool. It looks like there are two. being close to me though. Put me on this stump. Hey That is so weird. I'm leaving. Oh god. Oh that's a lot of language. Should I get out my translator? What? That looks like everything I just did. Why'd that go in your third eye? Uh, okay. Did anyone else 
let's just see that. I need to go tell the person upstairs. Quick. Something weird just happened to me. Uh, I think I'm high. I don't think I should go flying. Um. Hello again. Is there something you needed? Um. Um. Why can't I tell you? Chairs and hourglass twings. Ryback is some brittle hollow and Gabros and giants deep. There's feldspar, obviously, but we don't know where they are or if they're even still alive. Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. Feldspar was one of the four founding members of Outer Wilds, along with our flight coach, Gossan, Slate the Engineer, and me. As ground control and later the museum curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slate and Gossan did. I can tell you Feldspar was absolutely fearless, though. Nothing scared them. Test piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of sp dangerous, flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. Then one day they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened or where Feldspar went, or even whether they're still alive. I'm gonna find them. That's gonna be my mission. It's been a long time since they left. Well, I can't say this, but I have to to get out of here. <laughs> I don't know if I'm good right now because something creepy just happened to me. Whoopsie daisies. Right, wow. I'm gonna do that shit again. I didn't think their eyes were always open, were they? Oh my god. Um. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Ooh, what's this? Outer Wilds Ventures, Timber Hearth's first and only space program, was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first half moon to intentionally be intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon for Outer Wilds. I think I should go there. Retrace the first steps. Slate. Big thanks to these additional founder members of Outer Wild Ventures, without whom we'd never have gotten off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you the pie? Shark Templar. Home Wrecker. That's funny. Outer Wild Ventures founder members these people that um, supported this project. Music just sounds strange then. Okay, where is my... Oh, launch shower. Okay, okay, okay. So I'll go that way. Oh god, hello. Hey, hey, so did you uh, get a good look at the Nomai statue? Yes, it looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? Its eyes opened and you saw images from your own memories glowing and lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offence, but uh, are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? I don't bloody know, you tell me! No! <laughs> I mean, if you're saying it happened then, I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornfills tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I didn't think you were going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Crabeau said they were going back to Giant's Deep. I don't know which island they're on though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, the bros, you know, the bro. So maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going to space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. Well, I had lots of words being flung at me. Um, I can get my tool out then. I don't know, I don't know if I've seen everything I could see, because what's that? I guess this is the launch pad I'm going to. Some logs. We shouldn't have my guy again. Oh, hello, tiny one. Hello, astronaut. Yes. Are you going to space and never come back like Feldspar did? 
Oh, don't worry, I'll come back. That's what Belspar said too, but they never did. Monthos will be really sad if you don't come back. Like how sad it makes them to talk about Belspar. We should make sure you don't get lost in space too. I'll try not to. I'll try my best. Bloop. 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 Oh, I'm back here. Oh, hello. Can I go anywhere else? I don't think I can, you know. Okay, let's just get get launched. Get going. Oh my god, now I'm getting nervous. Oh god, it's a mm, big boy ship. I'm going to crash this, aren't I? I'm going to crash this, aren't I? Anything else interesting up here? Oh, okay. <gasps> hey, is the crystal. What is that? New ship log. Oh, this is going to be my home. Suit up. Back all up. Should I suit up before buckling up? Look at the lock. Uh, maybe we should leave a moon first. I'm scared. It's so cool. Rumor mode. so I can fill this out. I guess if I find out stuff. This is so cool! Okay. I'm gonna put this on. Whoa. Oh. oh. Okay, I didn't need to upgrade that. Oh my god. Lift off landing camera. Ooh. Okay, cockpit view. Map. Oh, out of all experience. Okay, well, let's just. Um. Oh my god. Okay, let's just keep the thing off for a little bit. Let me look down. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, where's the moon? Where's the moon? Chill out, chill out, chill out. Yes. Oh, I want to go to the moon. I'd like to go to the moon. I'd like to go to the moon. Yes, 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 yes. Oops. Scout launcher. Hmm. Launch scout. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, come back, come back, come back. Away. Engage all pilot. Hold match velocity. Velocity matched. Nice. Can I um just land on me? I'm just gonna go to the moon first. Oh fuck. Oh. Can I just land down? Landing mode. Yes. Oh god. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Um Okay. Down. Easy down in this hole. God, I'm embarrassing myself. Luckily, no one's seeing this right now. Oh, ow. Am I landed? Oh! <laughs> I did it! Uh, okay. Um. Out, please. Oh. 
Oh, this is weird. I'm in space. I need to go back and tell everyone about it. Where are they? I can't even see them. Oh, this is so cool. What is this? It's like a crystal. Can I lick it? It's like ice. Oh, whoa. What? This is making me feel a bit sick. Um, okay. Let's go explore. Can't see shit. Oh, no. How do I refuel my suit? What happens if it runs out of fuel? Do I die? Oh gosh, I'm a bit scared. Like if I die, it's game over. I've got to redo everything again. Oh boy. This is so cool. Okay. Okay. Ooh, look at that falling down. This is actually really creepy. Do I have a weapon? <laughs> I just, I just have to run away from stuff. Hey, there's my planet. Can I go back and land? Ah, <gasps> like there and go explore that. Ooh, I might do that when I come back. Actually, I'm gonna go find out what that smoke was. I'm winging it. I'm winging everything. I'm gonna get so lost. I'm gonna get so lost. This is so cool. Is that the plume of smoke? Okay, that would be good. I can keep an eye on that and then go there. I don't know what that is. Okay, let's just turn that on. Go to the top. I guess there's probably nothing to do here, right? Maybe I can find that flag. Take a picture of it. Signal scope. Oh, that's a good point. Any signal scope? Ooh. Yeah. Music. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hello. Eska. Hi, Eska. <gasps> Hey, it's you. Why don't you have a suit on? Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Wait, why didn't they tell you? Actually, I think it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Didn't other travelers come by? Is that you whistling? Seems lonely up here. Why is this place? Marl says hi. I thought we should say that. Ha, <laughs> Marl is probably the only one who remembers I'm up here. I should go see the big lug soon. Don't tell them about this, but sometimes I threw my little scout down to make sure Marl isn't do doing anything stupid. I worry that big tree in the village wouldn't stand a chance otherwise. Don't go. I mean, is there anything, <laughs> is there anything else you want to ask? <laughs> oh, he seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control. Hornfells and Gossan mostly. And they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. They forget about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travellers, since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. We don't always get that in our solar system. Let alone in our village. So go! <laughs> I love that. The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated. And needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Grabo is Grabo, and you know how Rybeck feels about unnecessary space flight. Um, is that you whistling? Probably. Or actually, definitely. Other travellers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. Best spot for all that is the North Pole. Great reception. <laughs> the North Pole is marked in your red, <gasps> in red on your mini map. But the outer rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north. You can't miss it. Ha ha! Very funny. Oh, stars above! You're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. <sighs> Welcome to the lunar outpost, which currently, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds. Travellers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then. 
but the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot, like more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here ri raising saplings from timber hearth and keeping an eye on things. Oh, I'm really drunk. I'm so sad. He's just by himself. Well, they're just by themselves. My bad. Sorry. Ooh, I can roast a marshmallow. Let's see if my skills have improved. Do I even need to be wearing this suit? I guess I don't. I thought I would die if I didn't. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, I didn't like it. I spat it out. Yeah, I didn't roast it enough. What now? Oh no! <sighs> Too long. What does that look like? Oh, I can't bloody roast a marshmallow very well, can I? Okay, let's just hold it above the fire. Near the fire. Other side of the fire. Eat. Oh, I like that one. I did it. Um, should I doze off? I feel bad for wearing this suit now. I feel like I didn't need it. Unless... Do I have to have the suit to do this? Can I go in your house? Let's go to the North Pole. Bye, Yeska! Oh, God. I was going to make it in one fell swoop. Ooh, <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, it's so scary up here. It's so dark. Read. Esker's signal scope log. Day 48. Still not picking up Ryback's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll still feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51. Listen to chat play for a while today. Unrelated. Someone should tell Gorfi and Gossan their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Day 55. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Ry Ryback's doing okay. That oath. I was worried. Day 63. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. Day 70. No, it's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. My hometown? Day 76. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Fieldspar's harmonica. The Fieldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. Day 88. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I'd better talk to Ness. Oh, that's so... Oh, and it's right by the smoke. Okay, well... That's where I'm going. I said I was going to go there, didn't I? Wow, look at that thing. Wait, 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 wait. How do I refill? Let me have a little look around. Nice. Wow, look at that. I don't know what that is. Okay. <gasps> the banjo. This game is so good. I really like it. Oh, this is so interesting. Okay. I'm getting really hot though. I might need to have a break in a second. I haven't even been playing that long. Let me go back to my ship. Oh, <laughs> that's why you turn on the light. Ship! Woo! Or maybe I should go to the South Pole just to check it out, you know? this what the whoa what ah what the hell
need to line them up. going on here? Ooh, nice. Oh, hello. Who this? Oh god, oh, hold on. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant steep and brittle hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. I see, most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It sends me to set this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope, Kasaba. Our search for the eye is what called us. Our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Oh. We're looking for an eye. The eye of the universe. That's really interesting. Yeah, it did go bonkers upstairs, didn't it? Somewhere I can refill my fuel. Or is it small? Okay. Oh, should I take the photos? Probably should, right? This one's on. Okay. Hallucination about everything I've seen again. <laughs> I love it, Zeska. What the hell? This is creepy. dream or something you still look half asleep but that's negative on being deceased no suggestion to sleep out under the stars the night before a launch but if you ask me it makes you all a bit jumpy You're not having second thoughts are you hey you're the pilot you tell me what it just happened do I have the launch codes already? They're in the bottom corner. I need to go, um... Um... Up, please! Ah, oh, I can't go the shortcut. Oh. What? On earth? Okay. I was loving this game before, but now I'm... Really interested. What is happening? Okay, Misha has nothing else to say. Do I just accept that was a dream? What the hell? Why did I pass out? Am I not allowed in that thing in the North Pole? Am I not allowed there? Okay, I'm just gonna go straight to the observatory because it feels like everything's gonna be the same. But then I feel bad not playing with the kids, the hatchlings. 
this is bizarre. I don't know what to do. Can we go back to the moon? And just do everything the same again? Or should I actually try and go and find where the harmonica was coming from on the planet? Do I do things differently or do I repeat myself? What was this? I think I went here. Is this the tree he wants to help? Mordain, you're new. Hmm. Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. What are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick out sounds from distant planets. It's set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency so I can pick up the Traveller's music. Last night I heard Rybeck's ban banjo come from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. Depends on what time of day or night it is since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. They are really cool. Oh, Eska! What happened? Here it is. That's so interesting. I'm gonna go straight there, I think. Young Bark Crater up north, we figured I should go check it out. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so confused. I don't know if that was a dream. Wait! If the eyes are open, then I know it's not. The eyes are open. Okay, this is different. Hey, I was just about to come find you. Look, 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 look. You've got to see this. The Nomaya statue's eyes are open. They uh, used to be closed. Probably should have started with that. And now they're opened. I'm not sure why they opened, since no one actually saw it happen. But this is huge news. Someone should tell Gabro. Or maybe Rybeck? Oh, stars, this is so exciting. It's making my stomach hurt. Moonfowls. Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. Bet you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? Ha, oh, me too. I did see it happen! I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with this statue. Is there something you needed? I think I did. Yeah, this is really creepy. Something is going on with the Nomai. Because that's where I bloody passed out! <laughs> it's a flash of white light or something. I'm guessing I don't actually need to get the launch codes. Okay, it wasn't a dream. Now, I'm confused. I'm gonna go straight. Wait, should I go back to Eska? I think that's gonna be different. I'm scared. I don't want to go back to the. Oh, what was that? Is the door to this pathway? Oh. I don't want to go back to that. That basement at the North Pole, South Pole. What was it? Was it North or South? I can't remember. On the moon again. That was scary. I didn't like what was going on. <laughs> it was confusing. Okay, it looks like I start with the launch codes immediately then. I mean, I guess I, I knew them because I had them in my dream. I think they were like fireworks. Okay. Oh, I'm really nervous for this. Really nervous now. This is scary. Um. Wait, is my shit log different? It's in my log, so it happened. What? Why does no one hear? Are they stuck in Groundhog Day or something? You entry. Esco's grown a crop of trees at their camp. They seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for too long. The lookout platform with a spectacular view of the solar system. Esco uses their signal scopes here to keep tabs on the other travelers. Esco's signal scope log reports harmonica music coming from somewhere on Timbaha. 
claim it sounds just like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. A Namai device created to pinpoint the source of distant signals. The Namai were disappointed by their failure to protect the signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. There's more to explore here. Oh, I've got to go back. Oh, I don't like it there, though. Okay, let me... I'm going to go do the harmonica, and then we'll go back to the moon. Oh, man. That was really scary. I'm going to try navigating the moon without, um... Without my suit. Bye, everyone! Why, why am I getting so far away? Come back in. <laughs> so bad at this. Here is perfect. Wait, wait, wait. Need to go. Which way? Point. <laughs> to get down. Okay, I think this is working. I'll do donkey. Uh, I'm bucking. Do I need my suit? I still have stuff. Oh, I don't have my mini map. Quite like that. Looks really spiky. Actually, do you think? Oh, someone's down there. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, that looks really scary. Are those? Ah, oh, you, you, you. Hey ho, Hatchling. Thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? me i saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what i was seeing and the, my pictures and my little scout was sending back so i thought i'd come over here and take a look is that dark bramble seaweed you think so it's nothing i've ever seen on timber hearth before so you're probably onto something there whatever it is it put down roots in a hurry oh shit i don't like the look of this thing hatchling and that's a fact i think i'll set marl and Hal loose on it best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later and no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I'll have a look at what's inside the seed first, though. I don't want to set anybody up to hack in a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking up inside there. Yeah, that's a good idea. That can help me haul the old scout, old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside. And anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. It's a good way to lose an arm or two. 
Oh my god. Wait. Oh no, I think it's swallowed. Our friend that went missing, I forgot his name. Build, build something. Build, build, build sap. <laughs> I forgot their name. Shit. I forgot their name. Can I touch it? Oh, this is weird. This is so weird. Well, I can't take pictures or anything, so... There's crystals here. But, like, we're on the moon. Okay, well, they're gonna send people to hack at it. Interesting. This is the South Pole as well, apparently. How am I gonna get back to my ship? <laughs> How am I gonna get back to my ship? I'm gonna get out of here. ship's over here. I gotta explore the rest of the planet. There were some interesting things here. Woo! Yes, I could. Let's fly up and land somewhere closer. I would like to buckle up. Okay. Uh... <laughs> you just want to fly around it a little bit. Okay. This house looks interesting. Ooh, can I go inside here? No, 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 my bad. There's a door. Oh, hello. Oh, I opened it. Mine is like 2P. Can I take a picture of you? Maybe not. Oh, okay. Oh no, I don't want to go to the Mines of Moria. Am I underwater? Yeah. Oh, I am. That's so interesting. Can I go in this thing? 
taking photos for don't know should I be launching my scout places before I do this Hi. untranslated from my writing I'm still amazed by how much ore the ash twin project requires isn't this or the ore for the remaining towers being built on ash twin the completed towers I've seen are quite large no, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ashtwin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ashtwin's core. If they're sealing off all the entrances, I hope they've planned accordingly. Ha! I thought you you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Coleus. How else would he improve? Wait, what was that saying? I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber hearths or only for constructing the shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. Oh, so they were conscious of future, future life. So interesting. Let's uh, take a picture. <laughs> I don't know why I'm taking a picture of that stuff. There's a, an empty wall like this. I was trying to get working. Maybe I need to go back. Is it scary in here? <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get out. It's over here. Look up the string projections she's doing. Oh gosh, what the hell is Oh god. Oh my god. Hi. Hi. Oh, this is freaky. Okay. Okay, there are two things lit up. This looks even the mine, right? Projection stone. Oh, that was really scary. What does that mean? Ah, no! Oh, shit! Fucking hell! I ran off the back. I fell off the back. Okay, so two of those things were lit up. Oh my god, that was scary. The Namai sound funny and the, the, the translations with all the statues and sigils freak me out. Can I um, take a snapshot? I'm gonna put it back in. Apparently I can't take a snapshot in here. It's interesting. It takes me to a weird place where I can... Okay. Oh, see. Oh, gosh. Another dead one here. Okay, maybe I didn't need to take a picture of... Oh, hello. What's this? Nothing? Get a picture of everything. Mm. 
My gratitude for the latest shipment, Omeo. This ore should be the last we'll need for that Ashtrin project. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Rami and I will be checking the interior and the exterior for our cracks for our final safety check. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check? What's that noise? Specifically mine. If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. What is happening? Oh god, read it quick! No! What? <laughs> what happened? Oh god, it's that thing I just saw. Did I capture it all? I don't know if I captured it all in time. What is going on? different I swear it fell over this way before what <laughs> what you're lucky I'm in a time loop because otherwise I'd be super dead and you're lucky I don't have to have you grounded for medical reasons because I have no idea what you're talking about You know this ship is a death trap, right? Well, yeah, it's a death trap. A really powerful death trap. What, you suddenly care about safety now? What the hell is going on? Let me look at my ship. Am I on a time limit? Or... It happens every time I try and read one of those you know my things. Where's my vlog? Dark Bramble Seed, you know my minds. Ash Twin Project. Okay, new entry. Seed from Dark Bramble crashed here and is already taking root. Pectite wants to use a scout launcher to get a look at what's inside. My signal scope picks up the Monica music when I aim it as if- Wait, can I launch my scout launcher inside it? I didn't think about that. Oh, I should probably try that. <laughs> I should probably try that! The central chamber inside Ashtwin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. In my mind, or from this site to craft a protective shell designed to physically seal off the central chamber inside Ashtwin. Once the shell was finished, the Lemai checked to make sure there were no longer any physical entrances or cracks. Are you trying to seal off something? Okay, I need to go back. Um, I need to buckle up. I'm not even going to talk to anyone. I don't feel like anything's going to be different here, is there? This is so weird. Um, let me go to... So I want to check out this thing. It's really interesting. Was that part of the mines? Of course, it's not. Hey. Okay, okay. I'm gonna have a little look at that in a second. Let me land in here. Let me land in here. Can I, can I go landing mode? Am I... Oh god. Oh! Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Why didn't I go landing mode? Fuck's <laughs> sake. I forgot that I was flying. Oh? Oh, I can't die.
Hey, look at this. Okay, something does fall off that way. I thought for sure last time it fell off that way. Maybe it did and I messed it up. Oh no. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm just gonna land right by it. Make my life a little bit easier. So climbing up. Oh god. No, calm down. Calm down. Is it going to come out the other side? Just keep off. No way. No oh, way, way, there's a core. Oh no, it's crashed. Um, I just took a scout launcher in there. Yes, 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 yes. So what crashed? I don't know what it is exactly. It's like some kind of plant seed, but I've not seen anything on Timber Half before. Yep. I think it's extraterrestrial. Looks like something might have come off a dark bramble. Uh, da 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 da. I've got to look inside this thing. Look at the old scout launcher over there. Obviously, the opening's too small for someone to fit inside anyway. I'm going to blindly stick my hands into it. Yes, I just sent one in there. Blasted sea did a lot of damage when it crashed. I liked this crater. I threw a little scout into the seed. You did, did you? You're telling me it's bigger on the inside than on the outside? Hmm. It's going to be a chore to chop up, and no mistake. Can we even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way through? Maybe I'd better grab an axe or three just in case. Um. Yes, my signal scope is picking up a harmonica inside the seed. Huh. Not to tell you there, the only harmonica play I know is Feldspar, and they disappeared ages ago. Listen here, don't go telling nice about the harmonica music, okay? They'll never let me get rid of this darn seed if they suspect it has any musical talent. It's funny. <laughs> you sure this seed isn't from Timber Half? Back in my younger days, I explored everywhere there is to go on Timber Half, and saw everything there is to see, and then some. Trust me, they don't have anything like this. Nah, I reckon this thing's from Dark Bramble. If it's from anywhere, actually. Okay, well. Didn't really get anything else from that, did I? Huh. Hmm. I'm meant to be going off planet, but I just like exploring here. Not bad. Did I add that to the ship now? Inside the seed. When I launch my scout to the seed that crashed into my heart, it ends up in a much bigger space with filled with fog and thorny vines. So interesting. Okay. Right, I don't know where to go. Should we check out... Um... my village. Very nice. smaller there. Ooh, this looks nice. Ow, oh, please. Ah! I always do that. You don't need my flashlight right now. This looks fancy. What on earth is this? Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, hello. One side. what this is can I do anything in here? Oh, please how oh, interesting Woo! oh gosh Bridge was here. It's all broken. Over, over, over. Make it. Ow. <laughs> I keep hurting myself. I'm not very good at this. Oh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make that. What in the. This is so interesting. I'm going to try. <laughs> Oh, wow. Made it through. Secrets behind a waterfall. I think I'm just going to end up back in the mine. <laughs> From the way things looked. I did. And the door is shut again. Yeah. Alright, well. I'm just reading this wall. <laughs> Tried it again. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better. The smallest floor opening in the shell that protects the outer spring project could lead to disaster. Okay. Not disaster though. Question. I didn't die. There must be a time limit. I did it. Oh my god, I'm a pro. Wait, this is just the way I can. I just dropped one level down. Mm. Oh god, I love this. This is such. This is. I'm not even in space, but I'm ex space exploration. Okay, I think maybe this is the way I was supposed to go in there. Perhaps. Oh. This for interesting. Isn't that odd? Okay. I've got fifty percent fuel remaining. Do I just refill it on my ship? Okay, I'm gonna try and get as far into space as possible. Well, the timer runs out. That is new goal. So, is it me or is that someone really bloody bright? This is in daytime. Sunrises are very bright. Okay. Let's go. We're going for space flight. Where should we go? Pick a random planet. Okay. Should we go to Dark Bramble? No, that's Ash Twin, isn't it? I might be more about the mines. And then I want to go to Dark Bramble about that seed.
is pretty close to the sun. What was this? Is it brittle from the top? It seems brittle. I don't know. Dark bramble. That's it. We should get a dark bramble, but I am <laughs> nowhere near dark bramble. Just want to see. My flight trajectory. How cool. Wow. Oh God, it looks like we're going to crash into it. This just look like a rocket. A rocket? A meteorite. Should I land on it? Properly? Oh gosh! What is this? Any signals here? Oh, I didn't try my signal scope in the mines. Oh, whoa, whoa! What is that? I don't know, I don't like it though, whoa! Just a random run out of fuel. Do I want to be going to the tail? Ah, okay. Oh, I'm, getting, I'm getting sucked in. Let me go refuel. Uh, ow. Okay, he's going this way now. Maybe I should follow it. Quick, to the ship! To the ship! I've been playing for way too long. Way too long. Probably should, um... I don't know where that's going. Quick, get on the suit. Get on the suit. Uh, let's go. Buckle up. Okay, I was talking to that guy this time. Okay, where did it go? Where did it land? 
What is it just... Is that just an insignificant piece of matter? <laughs> I found. Ooh, what is that? That looks interesting. No, I need to get off this planet. We need to go somewhere new. Right, I'm going Dark Bramble. Dark Bramble, Dark Bramble. Aha! Dark Bramble, please. Please and thank you! Something into Loper. All right, dark bramble. Should we go find the banjo? Um. Where on earth can I land here? Can I land here? Landing here options. Is it? Wait, if I go inside here, is it gonna be bigger on the inside? Like the seed? Oh my god. Ah! Ah! This is fucking scary. <laughs> Let's find you. Go towards the banjo. ship fuck don't you fucking dare come near me oh. Oh, no. no 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 I don't think he was ever in there with the banjo. I've forgotten the name is alive anymore. I think their instruments were slow. I think they're playing it. I keep dying. <laughs> is someone supposed to die this much? Ah, oh, bloody hell. The thing literally just breaks. Why is no one talking about it? It falls somewhere different every time. Hello. Oh. Oh, I'm in a time loop. What is happening? I need to stop for the day because I've played way too much. Um. <laughs> way too much. I got hooked. And, uh, to be honest with you, I'm probably just going to have a break and come back and play more, but that'll be it for this episode today. I'm in a time loop. I'm very confused. I think I keep recklessly dying. But I love this so far. It's so interesting. I need to get off planet because I keep wanting to explore here. <laughs> I need to skedaddle somewhere else and, um... I think I'm just wasting time. I must have found some sort of time on it. Anyway, um, no. Is there 
nice look. It's so interesting. How cool. Ooh, I can see my shadow. Whoa, I got ears. <laughs> I got big ears. That looks so cute. That is so cool. I don't want to go see Eska again. That was so scary the first time the 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 reset happened. I had no idea what was going on or what I did wrong. Um, queries so far. What is happening? Somehow I've locked myself in a time loop. I don't know if it's what would be different for me. Something about the ship. Me interacting with no my technology. Maybe that did it. Oh no, the, the statue turned to look at me before I left, didn't it? It chose me for something. Maybe. I don't really know what they were doing. They were mining to put a shield up of the, the twin planets. Maybe I should just go there. <laughs> I don't want to go back to Dark Bramble. Uh -uh, no thank you. That uh, seems scary. Does the person in Dark Bramble ever talk to anyone? <laughs> or what? Because, um... I really think they've been swallowed by a fish. That was terrifying. It was so cool to go in the mist and then see all the little lights. I was thinking, maybe there are tinier little planets in here. Or little stars or something. I don't know. And then it was... Obviously a little star is a sun. And then it was, nope, it's a fish. So I don't know if I'm ever going to have the skill set to make it through there alive. Because I can barely control I'll think something like oh, I want to go over there and sometimes the way I control it works and sometimes my brain doesn't actually register how to get over to from A to B like I want I can't control the ship very well uh, but that was good fun I'm really hoping that you enjoyed this I hope you enjoy the experience of someone experiencing this for the first time and I mean I'm lost I'm a lost fish out of space which i think is the point <laughs> um it looks like i'm gonna slowly learn stuff and unravel what happened to the people with the three eyes the lemai and maybe that's why i'm in a time loop and they'll let me out but uh yeah <laughs> that was very interesting i might just fly around space uh this next time loop and just Get my bearings, get used to the ship a little bit, and then, I don't know, go see what, what's happening on the Hourglass Twins. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, oh actually, hold on, Giant Steep, Steep's little fish exploded, it's broken apart. And it's not broken on this map. Well, obviously it's not broken on this map. Because I open my eyes and then see it. It's broken. But no one else is talking about it. It must be important. Because it's the first thing I see when I open my eyes. Maybe I should go look at that instead. So many options. <laughs> There's so much to do. Um, yeah, I really thoroughly enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did and you're new here, maybe think about subscribing to see more from me in the future. And if you'd like to, I'd love to know what your favourite part of this episode was. And, um, yeah, I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye!